Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Safeguard. We're going to combine them. So I already got uh, Jetfire already transformed because it's a mirror image of each other, so I'm not going to do it twice. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that the arms can actually tab into this little piece right here if you want it, but it does limit shoulder mobility now. So if you want it, you can do it for stability. Really don't need it. This is a pretty stable guy. So transformation is kind of neat. First of all, we're just going to move these pieces out of the way. And we're going to make the... They're going to actually be close to the back here. I'll show you that. So we're going to split this. All right, the instructions do say to go ahead and turn everything. Tab this up. And uh, I'm going to remove the headpiece right now because it's just going to be a pain. You're just going to tab that in anyways. So, okay, so we do that. Move to the back. Make a cool looking. Yeah, something like that. There we go. Move that. Yeah, move that. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll adjust it as necessary. I'm not going to spend too much time. But the thing does need to tab in. So you want to tab that in. Move that to the back. So move the shoulders up. And, and we'll adjust it as necessary. Okay, the big thing is... The leg piece over here with splits open. Make sure you put this little piece right here into that, just like that. All right, and the leg that attaches, you want to make sure that you rotate it. So that's a big thing here. Make sure you rotate it 180 degrees and move it up. And you're about halfway done. And this will be the arm piece right here. So all we have to do is just move the legs down. Great. Let's see. Something like that. Yeah. Doing good so far. All right. Then what we're going to do is pop open. Okay. So that's the top of the figure. I'm going to pop open this. Oh, he has a double jointed neck. Cool. So you got him in pretty good poses. Then we're going to pop open this half right here of the robot head. Put this head straight down into that little cockpit piece and just move it down. So we have half of it already done. I think I got the shoulder piece. Okay, cool. We got my kid's annoying neighbor, or sorry, my neighbor's annoying kid, <laughs> either which way. So we're just going to move that. Awesome. Oh yeah, move the legs, so it's forward. Ooh, has ankle pivot. Good stuff. And we're just going to merge them together. And you gotta be gentle with this, okay? And snap the halves together. Oh man. There we go, good. And it's not a tight fit. There we go. I'm surprised the dude stands. Gosh, I'm really am surprised the dude stands. The guy's a mess. <laughs> to put it bluntly, the guy is a mess. Uh, well, let's take a look at him. Yeah, yeah. Don't expect him to do anything special. I mean, you kind of have shoulder articulation. You got a bicep swivel. You got a weird double jointed because it swivels inward and you got somewhat of a fist more of a claw uh, no waist articulation just like the individual figures same leg articulation if not limited by the skirt pieces swivel on the thigh a weird double jointed knee 
it goes inward and moves in. So, I mean, it's okay. Not the coolest combiner I've seen. <laughs> Trust me. And there's the backpack's kind of weird. I mean, it looks okay in principle. Has that great light piping that I like. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it was good in theory. Looks okay. Not the greatest thing in the world. As far as combiners go, they're not bad. I think it's more like a board your size. So, there we go. So, yeah, it's not even. It's a little shorter than a Voyager. Let me put him with the real jet fire in the back. There we go. Ooh, that guy's huge. So, maybe he should be on the side. There we go. So, so it is what it is. Not the greatest combiner in the world, so I'll give it 5 out of 10. Well, let me give him Notch it up for 6 because he does have personality. It, he looks good. Not limited. As you, you know, as remember the G1 combiners, it was a worthwhile attempt. Uh, they did what they could with it, so it's not bad. I give them a little extra for trying, so 6 out of 10 for this mode. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. Catch y'all next time.